Hi, I'm Doug Hayford, and I'm a product engineering team leader at Mercedes AMG High Performance Powertrains. In my current role, I look after the structural and valve train team for the 2026 Formula One power unit. As a team, we're primarily responsible for the design of the structural parts within the power unit, which try to contain all of the dynamic and moving parts within the PU. We are also responsible for the valve train to actuate the inlet and exhaust valves in the combustion chamber. We describe ourselves as product owners of these parts. This means that we're responsible for ensuring we're the highest performing and most reliable set of these components on the grid. This means as well as the design, ensure the parts can be manufactured correctly, built correctly, we're actively involved in ensuring that all of the testing we do on those components ensures that we've achieved the desired performance and reliability we we're expecting, taking learning from all of these tests and then turning that into further development of the power unit. As a team, we are responsible for delivering performance in two main ways. Firstly, we strive to minimise all of the frictional losses within the systems we look after. Secondly, we're often tasked with turning the latest combustion performance concepts into mechanically sound designs, which is always an exciting challenge. All of this needs to be achieved whilst keeping the PU mass on target. There are lots of challenges as part of my job. However, one that comes up most often is finding the correct balance between completing all of the engineering calculations sufficiently to ensure the product success, whilst still ensuring, as a team, we are working through the long list of projects rapidly to keep delivering continuous performance and reliability improvements to the dyno and track. We certainly had to check we had this balance correct when the dyno hours restrictions came in for the current race power unit programme, and again with the cost cap now in place for the 2026 regulations. My favourite thing about the job will sound a little cliche, but as a design engineer, you have the ability to create ideas for projects to bring performance to the power unit, engineer them from a blank screen in CAD, actively be involved in proving the performance and seeing the reliability get proven ahead of it being taken to the track within timescales that are not possible in other businesses. It sounds great when put simply like that, but there are almost inevitably setbacks and problems to overcome before projects can be delivered, which is why it's always a great feeling when it all comes together on the finished product. There are lots of examples of tough moments within our department. One that springs to mind is in 2019, we could see that one of our power unit competitors was delivering significant performance to the circuit. So, the targets for our 2019 power unit were hugely ambitious as we tried to cram as much performance into that specification of power unit as possible within the time we had before race one. The journey to land all of the performance projects and make the PU reliable was a fight the whole way through the year. All that hard work made the success of the championship victory that year even sweeter. I've been back at HBP now for just over six years. I studied mechanical engineering at Cardiff University and actually came to HBP as a placement student for a year back in 2015 returning back to HVP following the completion of my degree in 2017. I first worked as a design engineer within the product engineering department before becoming a team leader in the single cylinder team. This eventually took me to work back on the V6 for the current power unit regulations in the bottom end dynamics team before starting my current role earlier this year on the 2026 power unit. A standout memory for me was when I was working as the piston design engineer and after we'd completed a big update to the piston design, the drivers came round to the factory. I was really proud to shake their hands and show them what we had achieved. <laughs>